see. Starring Jim Neighbors as Gomer Pyle. Also starring Frank Sutton as Sergeant Carter. I want every inch of these grounds police. Every inch, is that clear? Yes, yes sir. Take those heads down and pick up everything that doesn't grow. Move it, move it. Shazam! Look what I found. What you got, Look this. What, what, what is it? What is it? What'd you find? Four leaf clover. <laughs> well, aren't you lucky? Ain't I, though? I wonder what kind of luck it'll bring me. I wonder. <laughs> All right, you people, get back to work. Move it, move it. Back home, Barbara Sue Hoover back found one under her front porch. And two weeks later, she married Wendell Conroy. And to this day, she still wears that clover in a locket around her neck on a chain. Hi, all. She's so proud of it. She wears these real low-cut dresses so everybody can see it. Hi, all. Of course, she can't see the clover unless she opens up her locket. She, she'll open up that locket at the drop of a hat. Hi, I'll knock it off. Yes. All right, you people, follow me. smoke, so it'd be all right if I kept looking for some four-leaf clovers. Get it. Thank you, sir. I might even find one for you. Wonderful. Of course, you don't have a locket. You can keep it in like Barbara Sue Hoover back. But there's other places you can keep it, like in the sweat band of your hat or in your... Pile. Sir? Get lost. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sergeant, could I talk to you for a moment? Something wrong, Captain? Not unless you call making a marine base look like a street corner. I authorized a break for these people, Captain. A break does not mean ogling women marines. Sergeant, inform your men that this is an administration building and not the corner drugstore. Aye, Captain. Carry on. What's the matter with you knuckleheads? Don't you know a captain when you see one? Sorry, sir, we didn't see her. You didn't see her? You didn't see a captain? All right, you just stand at attention, and you'll watch the captains. Good afternoon, ma'am. Drive it. Yes, ma'am. What was that you just did? Ma'am? Just now when I approached, what did you do? Uh... I guess I tipped my hat. That's right, I tipped my hat, Spot, ma'am. You did, did you? Yes, ma'am. Do these bars show you that I'm a captain? Yes, ma'am. But the rest of the uniform shows me that you're a lady. And I always tip my hat to a lady. One of your people, Sergeant? Yes, he is, Captain. It is customary for recruits to learn to salute their very first day in the service. Yes, ma'am. Didn't he salute the captain? He did not. He tipped his hat. Tipped his hat. On account of she's a lady, and I always tip my hat to a lady. Private, do you know your general orders? Yes, ma'am, I sure do. What is your tenth general order? Let's see now. To take charge of this post and all government property. That is your first one. Yes, ma'am, I know it is. But I learned them in order, and so I have to go all the way through them to get the tent. <laughs> to walk my post in a military manner. Did this man learn military courtesy, or did he not? He certainly did, Captain. I can't... Then why is he not showing it? Well, I just don't... That is a poor reflection of his training, Sergeant, if I may say. I've got well, he's... Here it is. To salute all officers and all colors and standards not cased. That's your 10th General Order right there. That is correct. And the way you do that is you raise your right hand directly and smartly. Thumb and fingers are straight and touching each other. Your upper arm is level with the deck and your forearm at a 45-degree angle. You hold that salute until it is returned, then cut away your hand smartly back to your side. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. But wouldn't it be a whole lot easier if I just tipped my hat and said, Good afternoon, ma'am? Hey, excuse me, if the captain let me take over now... No, I'll take... Sergeant. I have a much better plan. You have this private report to me every evening this week in my office after duty hours. 
I think I can teach him the business of saluting so that he never forgets it. That's an order. Carry on. <laughs> Just think, Sergeant, she's gonna take a whole week just to teach me proper saluting. Ain't that nice of her? Well, why are you wasting your time sprucing up? You'll be torn to shreds as soon as you get to her office. Aw, oh, quit joshing, Duke. She's a real nice lady, that lady captain. Gomer, that's no lady. Do you know what they call her? Captain Iron Pants. <laughs> yeah, Captain Iron Pants. Duke, you ought not call her that. It ain't respectful. Well, that's what they call her all over. Hey, Sergeant, sir. Getting ready to go to my saloon lesson. Well, you fix it up for yourself real good, boy. Pulling down night school duty. Now, you listen up and listen good. That woman is a captain. You say yes, Captain Martin, no, Captain Martin. Understand? Yes, sir. Captain Martin. I don't care what nobody else calls her. Huh? Do you know what they call her on this base? <laughs> And ain't respectful, neither. <laughs> Corporal Peters. Yes, Captain? Do you type with a compact? No, ma'am. But I'm meeting Sergeant Marshall after work, and it's just a few minutes before 1730. Those few minutes belong to this office. So if you wish to indulge in camouflage operations, don't do it here. Let me tell you something, Corporal. Those little feminine vanities do nothing to further a career in the service. In fact, I've found them a hindrance. Oh, excuse me, sir. That's all right. You have those requisitions, Captain? Uh, yes, sir. Right here. I, uh, I saw that business with Corporal Peters. Don't you think you're being a little rough on her? No, sir, I don't. Uh, after all, we haven't secured for the night yet. And we are Marines, working on a Marine base. Well, you are also women. I don't think it's so bad if Corporal Peters puts on a little makeup. She's just trying to win a different battle than you are. Have a nice evening. Oh, thank you. ma'am. Private Gomer Pyle, you requested that I come here for some extra duty, so here I am. Oh, yes, the hat tipper. Over here, Private. These cards list all the officers on the base. I want you to file them alphabetically in the lower drawer. Yes, ma'am. And so that you'll get in practice, whenever you come to a card with a woman officer on it, I want you to stand up and salute. You mean salute the card? That's right. <laughs> oh, is that funny, Private? Does that strike you as funny? Uh, no, ma'am. All right, sit down and get to work. Yes, ma'am. Well, what are you waiting for? I was always taught not to sit while a lady's standing. My mama taught me that. I am a captain in the United States Marine Corps, and that is all I am to you. Well, that's a lot, ma'am. That's a whole lot. You bet it is. Now, get busy. When you finish with that, I have other duties for you. Sit down. Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant James Parker. Captain Larry Brown. Oh, here's one. Captain Martha Bentley. <laughs> Is that what you mean, ma'am? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Well, I'm holding the chair out for you, ma'am. That's another thing my mama taught me. Private, listen. There are a lot of things you've learned in civilian life that do not always apply here. Now, common courtesies are fine. But chair pushing and hat tipping and other civilian niceties are unnecessary. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. I appreciate you trying to help me, Captain. 
but I hope you won't be too upset if it don't take right away. After all, my mama had over 20 years to drum all that into me. Then we may just be here that long. Good evening, ma'am. Private, you're late. I'm sure sorry about that. I was almost here when I remembered the sweets, and I had to run all the way back to the barracks to get them. Sweets? Recruits aren't allowed candy. Where did you get it? Oh, it ain't for me. It's for you, Captain. It's just an old chocolate bar. My cousin Goober sent it to me in the mail. He didn't know we ain't supposed to have them. Thought you might like it. Private Pile, are you trying to bribe me with a candy bar? Gosh, no, ma'am. It's just a tiny present, that's all. Ladies should get presents. Please take it. Robert, I've got a lot of work to do, and so do you. Suppose we get started. Yes, ma'am. Captain, if you want to holler at me for being late, you just do that. Otherwise, the candy might really look like a bribe. What? What I'm trying to say is, it ain't really a bribe, and if you'll go ahead and holler, then I'll know you think of it as a present. Never mind. Just go ahead and holler, and that'll prove you don't think of it as a bribe. That won't be necessary. But, Captain, if you just... Pile, get busy cleaning this office now. Move it, move it, move it. Move it. <laughs> Private, what are you doing? Sharpening these pencils like you asked, ma'am. This may be a silly question, but why don't you use the pencil sharpener? What do you think that is? Now resharpen those, and on the double. Ma'am? What is it? This here finds the pencil sharpener. It ain't got no handle. <laughs> it's electric. You put the pencils in, and they sharpen themselves. You're pulling my leg, ma'am. <laughs> There. Lord, what'll I think of next? <laughs> Electric. Ain't that something? Pile, stop playing with that pencil sharpener. Yes, ma'am. There you are, ma'am. There's the first one. That sure was fun. <laughs> too short? Not for a golf tee. But it is too short for me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I can see that now. A lady shouldn't use a stubby pencil. You might break your fingernails and ruin all that nice banana-smelling polish. I don't have long fingernails. And I don't wear that nice banana-smelling polish. That's right. You sure enough don't, ma'am. Could have swore you did. Maybe you ought to. What? Well, ma'am, you have such nice hands. Long fingernails and that red goo could make them even look that much nicer. <laughs> well, I'll go sharpen you some more pencils now. Well, the rest of the people are on arrest period. What are you doing? Just a little private policing, sir. What's the matter? Don't you have enough to do between Captain Martin and myself? Oh, yes, sir, but this is different. You see, I'm just looking for tinfoil. Tinfoil? Yes, sir, it's a surprise for Captain Martin. You're gonna surprise Captain Martin with a ball of tinfoil? <laughs> oh, no, sir. The tinfoil is just for the decoration. The real surprise is underneath that. Carry on. Yes, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Is that a new way to stand at attention? No, ma'am. 
It's just that I know how ladies like to be surprised. What? I found them growing wild back yonder at the back gate. They're for you. Take them. Oh, uh, uh, th th that's very nice, Private. But I'm afraid I don't have anything to keep them in, so I can't accept them. How's this? <laughs> What's that? Homemade bay. Pretty, ain't they? Yes, yes, they are. This here vase is just an old milk bottle I found back in the mess hall. I covered it in tin foil on account I didn't think a vase ought to say low fat on it. <laughs> Thank you, Private. You're welcome, ma'am. I think a lady should have pretty things on her desk. All right, Private. May as well secure for the night. Check that window, will you? Yes, ma'am. Shazam! Would you look at that moon? Boy, it sure be a great night for guys watching back home. Private, finish up and you can shove off. Yes, ma'am. Gas watching? Yes, ma'am. Back home, I used to work at this filling station. Whenever there'd be a shiny moon and I'd be working nights, I used to spill out a little gas on the concrete and watch the reflection that the moon made on it. All them shiny colors and runny lines. I see. Sometimes this girl I knew named Ida Carrington, she'd come over and sit with me, and we'd eat a bag of pine nuts together. We'd just sit there and look at all them runny lines and listen to old Lester Pruitt's hound dog baying away at the moon. Way off yonder, you could hear the whistle off the Nashville train passing through. And that's the only sound there'd be, except every once in a while Ida Carrington cracking open a pine nut with her teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to run off like that. I'm sure a lady like you's got a lot better memories of moonlit nights and chomping away at pine nuts and looking at guys. Well, I guess I'll shove off if the captain don't need nothing else. No, no, that'll be all. Well, see you tomorrow night, ma'am. Good night, Captain. Off to your night of day with Captain Iron Pants? I wish you'd stop calling her that. Why? Well, it ain't respectful, and she's a lady. A lady? Oh, Gomer, look alive. Well, she is, and she's a real nice lady, too. You know what I bet, Gomer? I bet she's got a tattoo on her arm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Duke? You ain't a gentleman is what. Huh? Talking that way about a lady. It's just crude talk. Oh, come on. It's true. It ain't nothing but crude talk. Gomer, it's just too bad you're only a boot and she's a captain. Otherwise, you could take her out. You picture that, fellas? Gomer out dancing with Captain Iron Pants? She'd probably want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's crude talk. It ain't nothing but crude talk. You're crude, Duke. You're awful crude. This is an office private, not a dance hall. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry about that. It's just that whenever I hear any kind of music, my feet just naturally start moving before I know it all like this moving. <laughs> do you dance, ma'am? I beg your pardon? I said, do you dance? No. Oh, that's a shame. That's a real <laughs> shame. What? I mean, cause dancing is just about the most fun there is once you get the hang of it. 
Private, get, get on with your work. Yes, ma'am. Captain? What now? I bet there are a lot of nice officers on this base that are just dying for you to learn. Look here. Like that Colonel Van Pale? I seen him through the officers' club window one night while I was on duty, and he was dancing with a girl not half as pretty as you. Private, you may go back to your quarters now. Yes, ma'am. If you'll excuse me for saying this, well, I know that you're a top-notch Marine, and you really work hard at it. But you was a lady before you was a Marine, and a mighty fine lady, too. So maybe if you work a little at that, I mean, maybe... Maybe my nickname wouldn't be Iron Pants? Never. Never. Good night, ma'am. Good night, Captain. Good night, sir. Captain Martin. Yes, sir. That's very nice. Whatever it is you have on. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Good evening, ma'am. I was... Well, don't you look nice, ma'am. Thank you, Private. Real, real nice. Well, what would you like for me to do this evening? Private Pyle, you've completed your week of extra duty with me, you know. It won't be necessary for you to come back here anymore. Oh, heck. What? Well, I was beginning to enjoy coming here every evening after chow, ma'am. And I'm gonna miss it, what? But don't you worry, I won't forget the lesson you wanted me to learn. I'll salute all officers, whether they're man or woman. Good. And next time you come passing by, I know just what I'll do. May I? Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, ma'am. Very good, Private. Thank you, ma'am. Well, I don't reckon I'll be seeing much of you anymore, ma'am. Goodbye, Private. Goodbye, ma'am. Private. Ma'am? There are hundreds of men on this base who salute me when I walk by. If you should forget and tip your hat instead when I pass, well, if no one else is around, I'll try not to notice. Oh, don't you worry, ma'am. I won't never forget. Well, bye, ma'am. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's pick it all up. Let's move it. Move it. Move it. Hit, hit. Afternoon, sir. Afternoon, ma'am. As you were. All right, let's go. Let's pick it all up. Let's get this area cleaned up. Something interesting catch your eye, Private? Don't she look nice, Sergeant? Don't she look real nice? Huh? Captain Martin, don't she look nice? Bless her heart. Pyle, that is a Marine captain you're looking at. That's all, a Marine captain. Oh, yes, sir. But she's a lady. She's a real fine lady. <laughs> <laughs> 